Welcome to Chatting the Pictures. My name is Kara Finnegan, and I'm a writer, teacher, and historian of photography. And I'm Michael Shaw. I'm a writer, a psychologist, and also a publisher of Reading the Pictures. This year's Republican convention consistently violated norms regarding the use of the White House for campaign purposes. This photo was taken by Doug Mills for the New York Times. In the picture, we see President Trump hosting a naturalization ceremony at the White House. The surprise event was broadcast as part of the Republican convention. Mills is very insightful, and the choice of orientation here, again, reinforces Trump as the focus and these new citizens as ancillary. Mills's message, again, is that these new citizens are performing for the president. I'm really struck by that composition that Mills chose and that distance. So you have Trump, again, highlighted, putting himself and Mills putting Trump in the middle of the photograph. You see the microphone there. You see a glimpse of the presidential seal. But he's on the other side of these citizens. And we, the viewers, are on the side of the citizens. And so I'm interested in that. I'm interested in this idea that Mills is both inviting us to look at at Trump, and at the same time, putting us on the side of these newest Americans. Obama did many of these naturalization ceremonies, including 2012, 2016, 2018. But he's always either facing the group or he's standing with the group behind him in front of an audience. So the citizens are the focus. He's never just orienting himself to the cameras. I love Trump's gaze here. It's really the quintessential look of the producer. And then we have that familiar glance of his that's less engaged in the actual events than a concern about how things are looking. By the way, there was a really strange opening to the naturalization ceremony that started with this grand entrance of Trump marching down the hall to the hail to the chief before we even see the citizens. Part of me when I see this image and when you saw the news coverage later about how it's unclear who knew exactly when this would be broadcast as part of the Republican convention. Several of the folks who are being sworn in here said they were not aware of that. And so part of me when I saw this photo, I just wanted to tap these folks on the shoulder and go, hey, it's a setup. And again, Mills makes that point by highlighting Trump in the center But, you know, in doing that, what I'm also really struck by is this juxtaposition. So you have Trump's facial expression, this quizzical, almost kind of like, you know, when are these people going to get done with what they're doing so that I can return to being the star of the show? But then you have these raised hands of these folks taking an oath of citizenship, saying they want to be a part of this nation. And so to me, there's also just this contrast between the utter purity and earnestness of this group of people who are thrilled (laughs) to have become American citizens. That contrast with this kind of notion of the setup really highlights just the deeply cynical way that this event got produced. Also, these people are not even identified by name on the White House Flickr site and in the White House publicity materials. And then if you look at the images that they have from the ceremony, it's really such a tell because more often than not, you see these shots of the citizens fawning over Trump or showing this extraordinary display of gratitude, which really gives you the understanding that as typical, these are events that mirror Trump. 